what I'm feeling when they're dancing on the ceiling. Calling the big bug. I'm pumped in Georgia, baby. Pumped in Georgia, son. Ain't nothing like opening weekend in Georgia. Hanging out with your buddy by the campfire. Man. About a hundred to go. This right here, this right here is what the what the pigs do to just our roads around here. And this has been in the last week um, since I was down here. And they've just they're just ruining the roads and everything. So I'm gonna show you a little bit. That's just a little bit of what uh, what they're doing. You're to see in the woods around the acorn trees and, and everything else. It's just a it's just a <laughs> it's, it's it's really unbelievable how much damage they can do in just a short amount of time. But as you can see on the GoPro footage and 
the camera what little bit I could get on the camera you could see with 25 or 30 mice running through the wood bulldoze and everything they can do some destruction pretty quick so fast I don't know man it's Georgia opening weekend I don't know it's so exciting I don't care you go to the Midwest you hunt these giant bucks and it's a blast I love it and I can't wait to go next week I'm going to Kansas but there is nothing wrong with hunting a South Georgia buck in the pines, in the hardwood bottoms, and getting it on the ground, it is just unbelievable. <laughs> it ain't the biggest buck in the woods. It ain't the biggest buck in this country, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's South Georgia, and if you can kill a big buck in South Georgia, you can kill a big buck anywhere. Man, Whew, worked like a charm. 
came down wind of me just a little bit. He was a little sneaky and round. Whew. But this right here, that helped me out when he was looking dead at me. Man, I am pumped. I can't wait to get down and go get him. What a stud for South Georgia boys. All they are down here seems like any more is pigs. There are hogs everywhere here. I've killed four or five of them this weekend. I've killed two out of this spot. Didn't have a clue that I would see this deer this morning. I was hoping I would, but shooting two pigs and then getting back in here and trying to hunt a buck, man. Golly, I'm pumped, son. Let's go down and check him out. Georgia boys, southern bone on the board, geezer on the board, son, southern bone outdoors, man, nice Georgia buck, done smelling it up pretty good, they have been in here roaming around, seeing what they can get into, Looking at those, and pushing them around a little bit. So, hey man, I'm pumped. We got us a buck down in Georgia, fixing to go to Kansas, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna go grab the buggy, get this thing loaded up, and get it out of here. of this buggy. Man, still just pumped about a Georgia whitetail, huh? It's a good looking buck, probably the best buck I've shot in Georgia in 10 or 12 years. Nice Georgia buck. Man, I can't say enough about Southern Bone outdoors. I've been out of the filming stuff for a pretty good while. And then them boys got me pumped back up about it. And then now, here I am out here in Georgia behind a nice buck, fixing to load it up. Maybe it looks good, everything looks good, I don't know. I'm sure there's gonna be some critics out there. But you know what? We just real, we just real. We just bring it to you like it is. Try to do our best to be ethical, be good hunters. So that's what we do.
we're gonna get this joker tagged up. Get back to camp. Take care of him. Man, celebrate. Celebrate. A lot of work. A lot of work goes into these deer in Georgia boys. A lot of work goes into deer everywhere. I tell you, I'm still pumped up. I can't hardly, can't hardly stand it. So, oh.